Trying to ride away but got a light so bright around my energy That I am my favor, I can tell who's real with me Doesn't take me too long to see Some shady behavior, watch out for your neighbor Doing all these favors, trying to catch your paycheck Shady behavior, shady behavior oh, I can catch a vibe if you touch me on my own Push you out the way if you are trying to do me harm Yeah, I'm smoking on this indoor to try and fix my vision Looking in your eyes to help me make my decision Who are you? What do you want? Just be a friend You cannot mess with my energy Yeah, you gotta stay real to me You cannot mess with my energy Yeah, you gotta stay real to me Eyes are always on the low, low is on the go, go I just wanna know, know Why you done for sure, sure You cannot mess with my energy Yeah, you gotta stay real to me with my energy, baby girl, you know I pray for those who tryna finish you Being in my element, this shit no chemistry I'm on my block, this shit hollers, I'm blessing my enemies Ten four, got a 54 up on the block, but I bet that the shooter's gone Who knows, man, no face, yeah, another case going cold One hell of a life, I believe in for sure, but I ain't gonna quit I put this shit on mom since young, you been drilling my heart, getting torn But I ain't gonna stop till my ass at the top You can have fuck on my energy, and I can never be replaced to be I mean, I got the healing, come touch on these feet My demons just stack and I made it this week And I'm going hard with my ass in the deep end Soul in my music, the devil's attacking the weak When all this spirit in my life I be preaching, I'm getting rich, you know I be feeding in this field, you know that we be speeding, I was on the look at that food, I'm cheesing, I'm in the tongue, got the vibe for the weekend, really ain't coming on flavors, You can not mess with my energy, yeah, you gotta stay real to me, you can not mess with my energy, yeah, you gotta stay real to me, eyes are always on the low, low, life is on the go, go, I just wanna know, know, why you done for sure, sure, you can not mess with my energy, yeah, you gotta stay real to me To 190 Salsa Jesus Christ, that was smoother than Rama Wow, that is nice That is really Hey, you know nice. what the nice thing is? We ain't gonna give you cholesterol, bro There's <laughs> Amiga and like non-trans fats you know, no, that saying? is nice. That is nice. I, I, damn. I, the How energy. How you guys doing? Are oh, we good and you? We good. You know, we good. We good. Everybody, welcome to the us. dope cast. You know what I'm saying? Saturday. We in here. I'm your host, Mac Ten. You know, that's my co-host, Navigator. We in the do? building. Today we got some very special guests. You know, straight out of Johannesburg. You know, Johannesburg. West Side, 2190 South Side. They everywhere, they everywhere, you know, just like their music. Give a big shout out to Remy Reese and Aisha. I hope I pronounced that correct. 100%. Big shout out to you guys for having us early Saturday morning. You know how it is, you know how it is. Them cookies you guys got up in here, smack. <laughs> <laughs> you know how it is, you know how it is. How are you guys feeling, man? Sorry for bringing, bringing you guys out so early. I'm like, we're feeling good, man, you know. Things is picking up. We got a couple of things to do today. So this is just the first thing we're going to be doing. Um, we got a couple of shoots a little bit later on. So oh, yeah, nice, man, this is nice. a good good way to warm it up. Is that some promo stuff for what's up and coming? Um, not necessarily. You can say we can use it as content, but um, there's just a community thing called Massacant. We're just helping out, push her brand, trying to get her established. Well, she is established. We're just trying to get her to yeah, where she wants to be. That's that for sure. Yeah, that's that. yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. And tell us, tell us about this new single you got, babe. Energy. Tell them. Yeah, yeah, yeah this yeah. song was fire. That's uh, fire, really. Yeah. Well, basically, it's just it was a song that we recorded at home in our at home little at home studio mm-hmm. that we have. Um, we wrote the song together. It didn't take us too long, actually. How long? Like a week no, or so? Knowing Remy, probably cooked it up in a night. Yeah. I'll be honest, no, like... The recording took yeah. us a while. Because yeah. we're not professional recorders. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're not producers sure. or anything. So, were you guys just doing it, like, recording everything on your own? Like, no producer? Nah, so the good thing is, like, we prayed and prayed. We just were having stresses with all these producers making us wait, pull up to studio sessions. They all got big names, but they're just making us wait on them. So we just needed to get our own studio. So obviously, so we can put our minds together and do it. So luckily, a studio fell into our hands. 
Yeah. 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 So you yeah. fell into our hands. The first song is Long Night. We literally did absolutely everything besides the final master on that song. Um, and then from that, we recorded maybe another seven, six, seven songs that are all super fire all alone. Um, and then from that, we're just going to send those projects via wave to a producer just to finish it off. Because, you know, the producing parts of it, eh, Baba? I think it's, <laughs> so it's a, but if you play around, you'll get it. Yeah, 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 you'll get it. Are you interested in doing that? Like, I'll be honest with you. Once I get obviously the right equipment, you get your Macs, you get all your things sorted out, your proper home studio exactly. where you can actually spend time in that studio, feeling comfortable. Because right now we took the TV out, we put the studio inside the lounge. That's it. It's studio and work. The workstation. That's it. That's the workstation. Yeah. That's how it is. You know. I mean, everyone's working from home. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, no, I feel you, I feel you. So it's been, uh, it's, it's been interesting, you know what I'm saying? It's been fun, been challenging, but we're getting there. And I think, hey, people need to be ready for this. <laughs> for sure. So, so guys, uh, you guys are a couple, am I correct? 100%. How did you guys meet? Honey, <laughs> tell them, babe. <laughs> um, we met in the studio. My brother, who, who was once one of his close friends <laughs> and he's one of his worst enemies and now you know they're good <laughs> like okay <laughs> he told me please bro leave my sister bro mr <laughs> romeo and juliet love I don't know, I Ish. so we met in the studio and we like to call it love at first sound like yeah for sure way. she came to feature with um actually with one of the guys kali ali she just came to feature on one of the songs with me and yeah Ish, when i saw it i was like ah oh. To an any salsa, I gotta get inside. That's what kept us, um, <laughs> yeah. Speaking to one another was the yeah. song. We need to finish the song. We need to finish the song. Okay, the song okay. still never ever got finished. Yeah, yeah, okay. the song so that that was, was the plan. That was the strategy. Yeah. And then um for Hot Boy Music Shoot. Um, the guy said to me, I need obviously to get some girls. And I was like, nah, nah I'm going to get just one. And I messaged her. And, and you know, it's what, what was interesting. The shoot was so late in the evening. She had work at like two o'clock in the morning or whatever. Yeah, and she still pulled up to Bella Vista. She pulled up to the hood. <laughs> late, dog. Know. Late, late. I'm, and that was it. I'm not last or anything, sure, you know. Sure. I don't like things. But I guess I, I just, at the time, I said to myself, you know, I'm going to support other artists who support me you know and that was just it and i guess yeah from there it was just sparkles in the air i'll be honest i was i was in that area now i was actually scared (laughs) i'm the only girl there he doesn't tell me this he's the only person i know there i was like clinging on to him the whole time i think yeah i don't know i felt safe if you're telling me you're good you're safe you're safe it's all good. yeah no some some touching things you know some guys in, in that on that evening got their shit taken you know don't play in bella vista bro yeah i was on some germany ah they put the speaker down two seconds yeah. gone the one guy wanted blow he's asking me i tune i don't know he gives a little boy 200 bucks he says no the boy ran into the flats he's coming back <laughs> i laughed i was like bro you can't do that yeah it's not germany <laughs> that they, man is sitting there laughing until the shoot was over so they could be in the video yeah we are you know and then they took the shit they just took it <laughs> so lick <laughs> Yeah, so quick, they were they were plotting a move from the start. Yeah, so I, the way I got all of them there, I literally took maybe like say 250 grams and I drove with the tow trucks in the afternoon around the whole Bella Vista. I just stopped at every group of Owens and I just gave them Zola and Rizla. And I said, tonight, if you want to pull up, there's going to be a bottle for you all. Pull up, what, what, what. Hey, I was fronting with the bottle when they came there. They want, hey, Vasi bottle, Vasi bottle, maybe, yo. Hey, I was getting better, bro. I was like, yo. You got to pull out something. Yes. But it was lit, man. A lot of them pulled up. And that's where we actually just, from that day, it was just like inside, man. I think she came to my crib after that. And then we just connected, started making music. Lockdown came. We spent the entire lockdown together. We didn't record for like, I think if I correct, like it's 82 days, we didn't need studio. I broke the ass by recording a song in the cupboard um, with my Nokia earphones. As you know, those, yeah. I just hung them in the cupboard, bro. And you can go check it out. It's She Will um, Remix by me on YouTube. Go check it out. It's just something I did quick. And it yeah. should pop up on screen right now. Yeah, boom, you know what time it is? Right here with this blunt is. <laughs> you know yeah, so bro, that that track you guys were recording there in Bella Vista that was the track you say with the German guy yeah is, is he a rapper so he's a rapper owns a record label called Skyline Records that side so he owns in Germany, in Germany. so okay. he has this thing I don't want to get the name wrong now I'm not really sure um, but it's about 
I, sh- I think it's Skyline Presents, and then they, he comes here, he gets a couple of artists. So his first trip here, he had the less. Um, he took the less, went to the less's crib, whatever, whatever. Second time he was with Youngster, he took Youngster to town, did their shit, and then the sec- third time he came. Luckily, I was connected with him, and he said, okay, cool, let's rock with you now. Take me to your crib, I took him to the hood, did an MTV thing on my crib, you can check it out on YouTube too. Um, showed him how we live, and then I took him to the hood. It was pretty interesting, man. Yeah. <clears throat> so his cousin, you can go check him out. He's got some mad music. He's actually does some mad shit. He's actually fighting some big things. Netflix actually used one of his songs. Um, they're in Germany, so he's all over the newspaper and all that things. There, he's on some real shit. <laughs> okay, so you you connected to these guys. There was a there was a hot check. Yeah, no, yeah. And <clears throat> have you guys like shot a video together? Are you planning um, to? We. You can tell them about the one we shot in town. Yeah, we actually. It's. It was meant to just be used for like promo content. Um, it was in town somewhere. Jewel City. Do any if, if anyone knows Jewel Mobile City? Thing, so yeah. Yeah. yeah, there's some, some nice murals and colorful walls and stuff there. That's why where we did the whole shoot for our first single, Long Night, um, with Ricky Shots. Um, he did a small little video shoot for us, and so we. So, is that where you guys had the different color? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. That's all these colors yeah, going yeah, on, yeah, yeah, yeah that. Yeah, yeah. So um, we ha- we did the shoot. We watched the video, and then we decided to just drop it as like a freestyle music video. Okay, okay. So in terms of doing an actual video shoot, we have done one before. Um, it was baked. That was my project. Yeah, in the beginning. On when I met him um but again another one full of politics it just never it got got out the content couldn't be used we still use some clips here and there um but that's yeah like i said lots of lessons came from all of that in terms of music videos yeah we will be doing some in the future sure and what do you think about uh the approach an artist should take when shooting a video do you think it's like a should be a high budget approach or it should be like Chief Keef style in the room like this right now. Okay, Put so a song on, we all start vibing. We edit that shit, post it on YouTube. Didn't even spend fuck all. I think there's a time time's changed. Yeah. A couple of years ago you needed a Chief Keef video to actually get your numbers, to make it look lit. Cars, chicks, bottles, clubs, clothes, name brands, weed, drugs, you know, you needed that shit. But right now, kids are blowing up from garages. And that is because they have different softwares that those Owens didn't have to put those effects without moving. Can put a green screen for you right now, gonna cost me 500 rand in material. Just get a Canon camera, whatever I need to shoot with, and you can create what the fuck you need to create if you just have the software. So at the end of the day, instead of spending 20,000, can you spend a 10 gori? Yeah, because we not. We don't. We're not ballers. We don't have. Like, yeah, we're fully people. independent. We do everything we, ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. In yeah. Joburg, South Africa, um, I'm a parent. You know, he's a co. That's realistic. He's, he's that's also realistic. co-parenting with me. Sure. And you know, we pay the bills. We do the things and make uh, music. In terms of budgeting, in our music, we do. We do, um, put, put what we can. Inside into our music yeah. you know yeah. and we just using <coughs> what we have we use it yeah. what we have and we're doing what we can basically sure, sure. but we are you know we even like we get into a lot of fights yeah i heard like because, yo because we as a couple know, it's a yeah, must yeah, you we should. have our couple fights and yeah. then we have these music, <laughs> music fights and those are intense because it's <laughs> like this are, is craft this is our really life like, you know what i'm saying like what you're saying about that shit that's just hard <laughs> Yeah. yeah. So, do you guys think like you'd ever? You said you were independent. Yeah. Would you Would you take a bag if they're offering? I'll be dead honest with you. If I was in the states and I come, I came from a family that I actually had a foot to stand on. Like at the moment, there is musically there's no foot to stand on right now. You just make your music, you release, and you pray for no for the best. Raw talent. You know Raw talent. Yeah, long. straight up. So if I think if the right label must approach me and they actually tell me, listen, bro, I can sign you for five years and I can give you this type of bag if it's gonna be worth my while, and I don't obviously have to pay them back. In the, obviously in the long run, and I'm not gonna be getting cars and all that bullshit. Obviously, if it's just gonna benefit the fam and me. I will do it for that five years because at the end of the day, it's not just the money. You're opening so much other channels exactly. by that. You meet new exactly. people, you go into different studios. And with my personality, knowing any producer I meet, 
They want to meet me, bro. They want to give me free music, dog. Just because I smoke gang weed and I'm like, yeah. straight up, bro. And I'm telling them straight up. I promise you, bro. Every producer right. I work with, that's from King Jules to, okay, let's not mention that uh, dwarf, but <laughs> we ain't gonna mention him. But yeah. GBO, um, good vibes only. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But all the producers, bro, it's just about good energy, dog. I actually wanted to ask you, how did you find your connect, man? How did you find those entry points? Because now you say you met this guy from Germany. Now you're mentioning the names of Deleuze. I'll be honest with you. How does one artist plug themselves up? I'll be honest with you. It started from a young age, knowing my cousin Ross, obviously taking me to the club. I was 15 up in Kong in Suma. I was doing mad shit, bro. And by that, I was already meeting. I met Nasty C's producers, those two twin guys, those ones that look like the same. In the beginning, I met them with Nasty just before he blew up. Like, I met so many people, bro. And just through meeting those people, I would obviously meet. Okay, let's say he has the super famous guys and then he has all the other guys trying to get his attention. I would have the blunt. All these other guys would be last stuff and want to come smoke with me. And obviously I'll exchange numbers. I'm the trapper. They're going to come buy stuff from me and that's how I connect. So it's mostly been through my cousin, a lot of weed, majority bad, bro. I'll be honest with you. Everybody likes smoking some good and I got good. We and, bring you together. And as soon as they see me, they say, wow, bro, you look like you make music. And I'm just like, you know, I'm verified like Stias. Go straight to Google, <laughs> man. Enjoy. <laughs> yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, and it's not even like, I can, I'm, we good, bro. I, we good at every single body right now. You know what I'm saying? There's no one we're looking down on. There's no one we wish bad for. Like, yeah, I you do your I, things. I've also had my fair share of like yeah. meeting these I'm not gonna mention names, but you know, they, they, I have been, I've, I, I used to sing in a band, um, a pop band, a cover band. We did a lot of shows at a lot of news cafes. We did a lot of um, events. We did Monte Casino. Hmm. Um, so in this groove, I met a lot of these people and I've had my fair share of yeses and nos and um, I'm full of shit, so I don't care who you are. No, you so no, you want that person. No, I you just don't want you. Don't give a uh, fuck. I don't no, want you're just you. yeah. doing what you do. So now I'm just like, um, coming from that cover band, I was like, no, I don't want to be what people want to see me as. I want to just be me. So I was tired of being sure. like um, judged for other people's songs. That's when I decided I'm just going to start doing my own. Because they're all there, right? So basically all these connects are all there. If you're doing yeah. it and you actually do it long enough, you're always going to meet the right shoulders. Yeah. You're rub with the right shoulders. But there's now another turn to that. Like I've met from the biggest in this country, obviously to the lowest point. You know what I'm saying, bro? And yo, these owns give false promises, bro. You know what I'm saying? They also want to be nice. They're very busy, but it's it's well, tough, they bro. They want to change who you are. Yeah, they want you to the be. Different industry standards. Yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. And sometimes that's just not an option to take. Sometimes you need to come with your style yeah. into the industry. And where you go, where you want to go. And so they, it's always going to take time. They sometimes Definitely. Don't. Yeah, just working on your craft, but you got to stay true to it. Like she's been doing music for about, we can say roughly 15 to 16 years, you can say. How long? I don't know. Coffee. I was Work 10 years out. old when I started singing. You know what I'm so. saying? I'm only touching eight years now. You know what I'm saying? And I told those straight, me, I'm never going to stop making music because this is something that's naturally there. Sometimes it gets it's free. scary yeah. to a point where you just like, you want to pull out of this because it's like, there's a lot of shit going on and... But it gives you life though. Yeah. And you then, know. Yeah. you know, to have one another there you know, I think if I was alone and I was going through that, there would be no one else who understood the way he does to tell me, no, sure. you need to keep going. You need to not say these things. You need to not, what if this, what if that, you know, you need to just keep going. So it's good to have the accountability with one another as well. No cap. It's good to have understanding. Like I, I remember being a solo artist without nobody, just trying to make music. It was very lost, you know what I'm saying? I'm the communicator and she does the yeah, admin do the and ad the nice music. things. And yeah. the, I went the, to college <laughs> and I did like music business and all the things that music you college things with. Yeah. I did one year and then after that, I just continued learning on my own, you know, and still am, still am. Every person oh, I meet. But it's but it's amazing, bro. 
knowing that in through music like like i see it like this now um i actually had a job interview yesterday the day before yesterday this chick phoned me she told me what what do you wake like what do you what inspires you every morning and i told her that in life you get listeners and then you get people that listen to music and that's where they listen they won't listen to their parents but let them listen to a song and they will listen if you can preach the right things bro and you can tell these kids that there's a different way of life in motivating them in certain ways. They will listen to you, you know what I'm saying? So I wake up for those people who listen to music. I wake up for our ambition to to do what we do as as best and motivate the youth, you know what I'm saying? And that's what keeps me yeah, going, bro. It's, it's cool. Of, it's dark, dark and, and... Yeah, it's dark. It's that, just dark, that's, bro. That's, that's out guys, there. It's the guys. main thing. And we like challenging this and we like the minority right now. And it, sure. it's fine. <laughs> But you know, like I said, we parenting, so we have we have that and so to think yeah. of yeah. Leaving, leaving how, what how kind of legacy are you yes. leaving behind? Not just for your kids and your family or your younger your cousins family. and your for like kids who like yes. who like music. <laughs> and how does that uh, impact the young one around you? I think I've had to change. Obviously, you all know me since then, bro. The shit I was rapping about then and the way I was acting, I had to change my entire act because obviously I had to realize, hey, there's a little one here and she's watching every little thing I do and she's picking up on this and that. So I need to absolutely man up now and decide this is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So she 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 likes the fact that we do music. Um, She loves our music. And she, she has this... She's artistic as well. She likes art. She's just... Like a, so. she blossoms every day, bro. <laughs> yeah, she's just she's an amazing person. She's her energy in the household. I think holds it together a lot. At times it feels like it's falling. I think her little energy there, her little voice, just poof, and keeps we, everything. We, we do say our music is like PG, you know, you yeah. know, parental mm. guidance. We're not giving it an age or anything because I'll be honest with you, like. There's a small little uh, fan that I have. Yo. Her name is Mia. Um, my my Mia. daughter's name Shout is out. Maya. And then Shout there's little out. Mia. Okay. <laughs> and so Mia just loves me to bits. And she loves my music. And she listens to Long Night, you know. Her mom's there like, hey, <laughs> check her out, you know. So, we have um, a lot of toddlers. It's, cra- it's weird. There's a few videos we have. That and she's it, got a song called Follow Your Dreams that we've done. And, you know, I think that's going to be, a, I, I think every time I listen to it, I, I want to cry, you know, sure. um, because I realize if it gets out and it gets out in the right way, you know, and it's received when it does, way. that's yeah. why I'm holding it. We're holding it back right now because it's so precious. precious. <laughs> There's a lot of emotion. Funny, right? We had a guy tell us a label would pass a large amount of yeah, money for this. He told us concert. to sell it. I'm like, no. Like, nah. It's universal. I was like, nah, bro. Because <laughs> obviously. It's going to wrap on me. we giving this message. For sure. Yeah. It's really a story. And you can, if it's re- if this person who gave you that advice, if he's really speaking facts. Yeah. You can even use that as leverage. You For know sure. what I'm saying? You drop that shit and if it's a banger going number one, you know what I'm saying? Inshallah. Inside, you know what I'm bro. saying? And it, it goes number one. Then the labels will come running. You got something. Say, hey, I, I went number one by myself. Yeah, straight up. And it has the potential to hit. Double that. double that back. Yeah, no cap. <laughs> no cap. But yeah, it has the potential to hit numbers, bro. Sure. But it was not all about the numbers too, man. Like in the beginning. It's the marketing, bro. Yeah. It, music itself. Like it was all about being famous and having this jewelry and all those things. Like you can see, I ain't got no earrings on. God, like those things, those, yeah, those things don't matter like to me. Like I do have nice chains, like little ones and things, earrings and things. But like, love You're a changed. tattoo type of guy, you know. What I'm saying. Yeah. It's always about to ask what inspired your tattoos. Like, what what also does that? Because a lot of people, I mean, we still come from that culture where people are yeah. like, hey, well, if you get a tattoo, hey, it's a you must have like, stare at me, bro. It's funny. Uh, hey, we actually got ones like last week. I don't know. Uh, last week. Yeah, no, we uh, two weeks ago. Maybe two, three I got weeks this ago. Two. I got so like <laughs> my little cousin that I haven't seen in years, he's so big now and he's doing tattoos. Um what's it what DME, is his tattoo name? Lano over yeah, the rainbow. LSD in his name is Lano. Hit me up, book him. Like, you know what? Let me just support Shoot. him, you know. And then I got this one. It's my famous quote, let me exist as I am, for I simply just want to be me. 
That's fucking that's beautiful. Like it's poetic. Pretty self-explanatory. Yeah. That's yeah, my that's only it. thing. I was like, this is my thing. I've had, sure. I've been saying this for years. Like, for it's sure. just, yeah. And then I have this one. <laughs> 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 for the haters we see y'all I'm watching y'all <laughs> so this one actually um, I don't know made pe- a lot of people think I've joined the Illuminati wow for some no cap bro your family was wild I was being blocked I was being blocked on whatsapp oh, wow. I, my aunts were trying to like hold when I greeting her day like, see what, what the fuck's going on <laughs> you know yeah, sure. like to me, That's it's really smart. just a peaceful yeah. thing and protection, if you will. And then I just have yeah. the, we have this matching one. Yeah, yeah this one. Okay. The music one, but he has the, the cross in the, a cross in the middle. Okay. Is he, he's Christian. Okay. And then, you won't see this one here. That just says, be brave. My mom actually said to me, Oh, you now you can't um, wear any short sleeve um, tops anymore. <laughs> I was like, really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're not in 1950. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and their uh, tattoos yeah. are nice. They're just painful. Please tell them. Yeah, okay. Them. So everyone asks me every single day, wherever we go, like, yo, what is this thing in my head and what does it mean? So obviously my mom always liked my music. She always pushed my shit, always wanted me to be who I wanted to be. And she told me straight, every show I'm there, I'm smoking there, whatever, I'm in the bag there. You know what I'm saying? So she only got to witness one show was where I was performing at a wedding, one of my cousin's wedding. So when she passed, I said, I... Want to put us on on the head? So whatever show I rock, she can be there live with me. Check. Because it's her name with the heart inside, with a little bit of whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then obviously this one here, my 2190. Something I mentioned in every song that's from where I am, where I grew up. Yeah. And then I got this one absolutely from Royal Inc. Um, an angel, whatever. And I got me a chopper. <laughs> <laughs> Just when I smoke a blunt. Take with the chop, dog. With the chop, dog. <laughs> I'm standby. Yeah, M16. Just talk just, about a fam. Come on. Just just for yeah, the love so of it. With the tattoo on his head, a lot of people are like, no, you're, not, you're never going to get a job. Yeah. Or, uh, he actually what, went for like sw- swimming training. Yeah, I was training these yeah, kids. Yeah, just train kids in swimming, whatever. In the swimming instructor. Yeah, yeah, my man. Yeah. The parents. Yeah, yeah. Totally bra. No. As soon as the yeah. kid is coming to me, aren't they? Hey, but a poop, bro. Watching me, hey, it does make me feel cut. Then the lady said to me, please just, I don't think you should come back. Be- ah, fuck that. Because the um, the, cho- the children's parents are actually, they, they're scared of you. It's like you can do something to them. I told that lady to them and fuck y'all. Shop for sack. <laughs> Sorry for my French. <laughs> y'all was nar, bro. Because I was enjoying it, bro. Hot pool. You know what I'm saying? Good money, so then that lady, ah, oh, dog, I was enjoying it. I wear in the dreads, what, what? I don't have dreads, and imagine I did. <whistles> They're gonna frack. Mm-mm. They were gonna frack. <laughs> Even my family was up in arms when they first found out about. Yeah, and please, people, I'm not Costa. Nah. Yeah, he is not Costa. <laughs> Costa. Mamela, Mamela, Mamela. Costa, um, tell us, Mamela, Costa, um, tell us, me. I'm Costa's father. Okay. Costa doesn't have this tat on the head. Everywhere I stop, the hobos. Oh, Costa. It's heavy, bro. Yo. <laughs> No. Yeah, we even went to one of her friends' baby showers and the kids are like, ah, the guy from the TV. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, no, it's funny, bro. But I love the kids and we do it for the kids. You know, wherever we go, we, we wherever we can help, we help the kids, man. Sure, sure. Which, which artist would you guys love to work with, like, locally? Like, maybe it's like, maybe it's been a dream or, like, you know this person would fucking, like, gel with you perfectly you know what i'm saying i'll be is there, is there any i'll be dead honest with you ne? locally i'll be dead honest with you i like the people that are local yeah. i would like to do a mixtape with maybe benny chills phantom steeds because those are my homies like i know them from blank space records i would like to with gels and all of them but to be honest with you artists that like that ah, there's nobody bro yeah, i don't listen to south african music I, like I, that I, I, Internationally, to be honest with you, if I can have a song with two people, nah, the first song would definitely, definitely be with Kodak Black. Nah, just because I feel like 
he's just crazy like me, bro. You know what I'm saying? He's just yeah. he's just different, bro. And then the next song I think I'll have it with Mazi. CMG Mazi. Yeah. He's got that one song with Booz, like Boozy, like uh, I think it's I like Tomorrow in Promise. Music a lot. Yeah. Because of the stories that she tells. I like the shit yeah. too. Yeah. Like a. I don't know. There's no one that I dream of. I I guess I'd like to meet Jayla one day, but I don't think I want to do any music with her. She'll really <laughs> outdance me first. Uh, maybe I'm just high and I can't think. But to be honest but with you, like I'll out sing her. I don't yeah, know. I'll try not to mind. Shailo, if you ever see this. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Do a promo for your next video. <laughs> <laughs> you spoke to DMX. I spoke to a few people. The week DMX died and I got proof. I can go on my Insta right now. DMX hit me up, bro. I almost fell over my fucking feet. Sure. I came home. I saw DMX verified. I said, not a puss. One of my Naji friends are taking me for stupid. I went inside <laughs> and said, yo, dog. I saw it said, yo, dog. Someone tag me in your shit. Send me something. I said, ah. Uh-uh. I lost this thing. Went to put my phone on charge, went to smoke. It was blind me, bro. And as I responded, I think it was maybe like eight hours, he responded again. And I ended up starting having a conversation with him, bro. Not a big one. It was just a young one. Obviously, I wanted to help me. He can get me on my next mixtape. He can even feature on my next mixtape. And like what he was charging me was very... Those men, bro. Because I explained to him what's popping the side, you know what I'm saying? I spoke to him, I spoke to Fat Joe. I can even hit up Fat Joe, he'll respond. <laughs> he'll respond in 12 hours. Your check is there, dog. Um, so yeah, man. There's a lot of people we reached um and wanna work with. But there's a lot of these white Owens. Yellow Africans are Owens, you look at my me a span. Early B. Ekkes net so lit so jay, men ons kan brei my nek en vlees. So kijk eens op baby girl, jy wil dans, men kom te my is, men we gon' fra. Hey, hey what bro, we can't fuck with that shit, dog. Let's <laughs> go! There's a few of them. Hey, hey, that industry pays bag, guys. They pay. Guys, I mean, why not, guys? I got his own now. I don't know what his name is, bro. Nef something. He's chilling now in Amsterdam with early B and them. They have a show there in Netherlands this weekend, bro. Imagine, dog. Full st- Big ass places booked out just for them, dog. They yeah, from the castle. You know what I'm talking about? I know early B from 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 PE. I'm not personally like that, but I did meet him a few times. I did see him around. You know what I'm saying? And yo, bro, they should slap. And I remember listening to them from Dark Groove times. Those hey, that one's is hard. And now what is dropping now? It's they clean, bro, and they bagging it. There's a whole part of the industry they the Owens is missing here. Yeah. They're all trying to follow Blackie and Nasty and all this and re- no, you are you, bro. Make your music on. Why you want to follow somebody else? That's them. Else. Use their tips oh. and things, but don't be them, bro. Oh, and which, what about you? What about you? Like, what do you? What do you think? What do you? What? Do you, what's your take on this? You're gonna take the bag if it's worth it, but what's your game plan? If I get a bag, nah, I'ma run home with it. <laughs> that's my game plan. <laughs> but to be honest with you, if I can get a bag, I'll make sure that's gonna be good for us to obviously for me to put myself on the map. By doing a proper album, getting obviously proper PR teams out in the States to probably push me the right way, bro. Making sure whatever I'm spending, I'll prob- I probably won't even buy a lot of shit. I'll probably buy me one or two pairs of nice shoes, pants, what not. But after that, bro, the money is going straight towards that shit. Just to make sure once you open that loophole and people notice you, whatever you drop, you're good, bro. Look at Jay Krish. He sacrificed in the beginning, not just him. I just like him, you know what I'm saying? It's, there's so many nav that you can name. The list can go con- this continuous, bro. They just sacrifice in the beginning, pay their shit. Once that loophole is open, bro, you got a foot to stand on. You got a name, you've got something. You know what I'm saying? Like Adam22 said, I watch his shit every day. He also said, once you sacrifice, you put your money down and that door is open. Everybody's going to be with you. And that's what you got to do, bro. Like MT, I fuck with your shit so much, bro. But what he did, what I think, I think from my point of view, what I saw was when he got his bag, he ended up popping and going to the club. And you know what I'm saying? Living a rapper lifestyle. Obviously, we all want to do that. But there was nobody actually to tell him, hey, bro, res my fetu. Focus and put all your money into the music right now and maybe in a year or two do this shit. Because then the label came with their nonsense and hurt him, you know what I'm saying? They took all of his shit, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So it's obviously not his fault. He didn't lose at the end of the day. You can never lose in life. You only learn. If you think you've lost, then you're a loser. Straight up, you can only learn. Learn. That's it, bro. So.
This um, is the first song on our EP. So it was called Intro. I don't think we should give the name yet. No. Um, the name <laughs> but the name is going to come, but yeah. It's an intro. That's why it's so short. And then we'll be doing the one after this, which is called Energy. Shoots and. So we need to get some, some content. Negotiations and collabs and all these things. CD, I hate these guys. Listen, your fashion design is tripping out of here, dog. Oh I'm God. trying to get me a leather jacket. These are just charging me one five. Can I keep it? Huh? I will pull up. I will pay you one five, and my uncles will come and rob us. They will take my shit. They will take my car. We will walk back to your house, and then I'll take a Uber back to meet you. <laughs> Don't blow, up, bro. <laughs> the emojis, the Snapchat Yo. emojis. We sad. using those to like go with the next theme. So we're trying to look for the next project for the next single. We're trying to look like these bad emojis. It's tough, In man. In terms of the clothing, that. Hey, the, yeah. the kicks is maybe a one five, I and you know, know hey, it's you know, money. We can that. Change the jacket. You can always change the clothes in the thing. Yeah. Uh, but hey, we'll get it, man. The universe, man. Anyway, knows it's tough. Yeah, yeah. it will align. It'll blue, pull up. Navy blue leather jacket. <laughs> Let us know. And it's not for free. Just don't charge us one five, my man. Hey, because then you're going to lose that jacket. <laughs> just to uh, be reasonable, man. No. Yo. Don't do that. Oh, just to rent to. We ever want to make an extra six pack or so of beers, you know? Yeah. Good thing is, like, we don't even drink, eh? Hey, yeah. The Ta -da. Yeah, like we just blaze it up, man. We do. I won't say we don't drink. We don't have nothing against it. But and we like, have cocktails now and then. And if I, I buy a bottle when I'm last time, cousins are like, come, come, just come, and we like, yeah, okay, one. one. But after one, it's funny how tired we feel. We like, we go no sleep. Man. It does their job, dog. It also, the the stamina is a bit different, dog. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. really. Back in the day, we have one drink and say one guy, and I say, fuck yeah, tonight it's gonna be lit. Now, well, left that, I'll feel dirty on the couch. Smoke weed, so when they drinking, we just like we either Blazing. like in the corner yeah, smoking, yeah. or we just like yeah, we'll sip on this one thing the whole night. It's fine. Sure. Yeah. Most of the time, my daughter's with us, so also you know. Yeah. You're mindful of that, and that's good, though. You, I think a lot of people think just because they smoke weed or they do music, they can't find the balance. But most parents actually do find the balance, because at the end of the day, it's work. So you have a schedule, and everyone's schedule is different. Like, yeah, and you, she's also bigger now, so she'll be like, ah. she used to go with me to like everything, shoots, um, studio. Recordings, performances. Now she's big. Now she's like, no, just please take me to my grandma. So that's where she is now. She went to my daughter. She'll be so bored, you know. She'll be sitting there just looking at you like, come on, what I need to buy her. Yeah, I need to involved. How old is she, sorry? She is almost 12 now. Yeah. So you can say that she's like my height by now. Oh, wow. Be they grow. They feed them something else. I don't know. When I met her, her teeth were small, and that was not even. That was almost know. three years yeah. ago. Small like, now. Like she just grew during big. COVID. Like yeah. She just came out the room one day, and it was like. Hello. Hey. Mom. I'm big, yeah. What's to eat? Mom, big full plate. <laughs> Last year she was eating on this little pink plate. Now I'm some addition full plate dog, and then she still comes sits next to mom and says, "What kind of so?" No meat. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Ah, but she's very independent, though. Yeah, she's a very independent little lady. So, very proud of her. That's good. That's fire. That's fire. That's fire. Start selling your ma your art, Maya. Yes, we're trying to get it. Just she paints Yo, on. Fresh. She will paint on any and everything that she can paint on, and it looks so nice and colorful and pretty. Like it's fresh. Like, you can say she painted the pants the way she paints yeah, on things. Yeah, it's crazy. You know? Yeah, maybe maybe next time when you guys come on the show, she can bring us uh, some. Yeah, I'll bring us. She's got a few things, bro. She's got. I'll ask it to. She's got maybe a thousand toilet rolls with different, <laughs> yo, with different patterns on, and she's killing them. She even draws like houses on this one, and then you know, different and now scenes. now they make the toilet roll thingies. What's the thing inside? I don't know what those are called. The cardboard <laughs> thing. When the thing is done, that thing. They make it white now. Okay. So she paints those. She looks for everything, damn. That's crazy. She just comes to you and says, "Our house is full of paint. these things." <laughs> he just comes. 
I need paint. <laughs> I need cookies. I need paint. <laughs> Yeah, you look for everything. We even gave her a shoe. And we have to keep it going, you know. And we try and do that by showing her that, you know, we also um, pursuing things that we enjoy and we love. And we're giving it to the world. And I think that's what she's scared of. She's like, who's going to buy? It's like, uh -uh, you must buy. <laughs> Not true. It starts young. You believe in it. Yeah, and that's the thing. They have, uh, I think she has the parents, you know, to scary. look up to and see that they're pushing. So she can grow up knowing that yeah. pushing for what you love is a normal thing. Because yeah, my so parents have been doing it. You, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So it's not like, hey, this is I, need, I need inspiration. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Already knows that you just got to keep working until you get it. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Very important. So, child, How old is your my, my my daughter is uh, ten. She just turned ten. Yeah, so. Uh, good luck for the next two years. Yeah, I know. It's just gonna be a lot it's, of surprises. Yeah, yeah I know. In the mornings, sure. I don't even yeah. get a hello. I just get thank you. <laughs> T-shirt, socks. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know. Yeah, he does all the school runs. Spending. Um, <laughs> hey. You deal with I it in the morning. <laughs> Uh, this morning was the earliest I've woken up in a very long time. Yeah, I woke up at six. Start getting ready. Yeah. I was home and I work my own hours, but I schedule them a week ahead. So sometimes I can't keep up with it. Then like he just logs on for me and I sit there and I wait and I'm like, okay, cool. Now I can start working, you know. Sure. Like I don't just get get up and wake up and I don't know. I don't exercise on all of those things, but I mean, meditation, I like doing. And those rock. Yeah. <laughs> and I like to sit in the sun. I mean, sitting in the sun really does something for me. It's like it just. Vitamins, man. Those yeah, are natural I mean, vitamins. It is. It, it is. It is meant it, for you. It, it really kicks in. It. And like, I would suggest that it's a simple thing. Anyone, everyone, if you're feeling some type of way, ugly, sick, not nice, dull. Is it this one? Go sit in the sun, man. Yeah, I know, for sure, yeah. for sure. Ten out for a bit. Get baked. Ah, don't smoke in the sun. I try that every day. I feel dizzy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't know? That's a no-no? Watching videos there. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Smoking in the sun is bad. <laughs> ah, when you go fishing, bro. So I'm standing there sometimes and I'm hitting that blunt and then next thing I'm dizzy, my lips is tingling. I say, uh, yeah. I I think you should Sit be down, smoking boy. when you're busy fishing. You should be drinking with lots of water or something. The other morning we went fishing. My cousin, no, my that's cousin. About the balance. The balance. It's about the balance. Yeah. My cousin pulled out a little medicine bottle. And it had him shrooms in it. It was <laughs> like just after, it was five o'clock in the morning. And he poured a shot and I was like, nah, I'm not. He was just like, going. Rock and roll with that shit. <laughs> yes, setting up was just submissions. Everything looks surreal. Nah, me, I'm scared for shrooms now. We had a massive shroom trip. Yeah. But let's not speak about that. I'll be scared again. <laughs> it was actually on our first anniversary. Child anniversary. But, but no, no. Hey. Started off, she was in the bath. I was in the shower. My oh, man. Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> he literally looked like the treasure cat. If you'll know. One yeah. is all like this. <laughs> okay. Yeah, with the teeth. He doesn't like, even yeah. know who that was. He's just like, what's going on? What's I was perro, bro. You're the treasure cat. <laughs> <laughs> I kept going to spirals and then it was like, queen, queen. Because anyway. we went to the sick ass lodge, you check. Yeah, we were at an unknown spot. It was so dark outside, I didn't smoke a guai for eight hours. I was perro, bruh. And it feels like it's yeah, been there for yeah. 16 hours, but it it's only bad. been an hour. Uh, we chatted, I got in the shower, she got in the bath, next minute she slams me, ah. <laughs> I say, huh? Hey, then I, when I got out, I felt, oh my God. The spine Eel, started bro. kicking in. The spine, everybody was just like, oh, what's going on? It was nice. Everything was fun and funny. And he was just so paranoid. Like, I don't know. Heavy. He does, One joint like he this, the whole time I'm losing it, bro. <laughs> I found it yummy, bro. So here's the zoo. And I want to lie I've lost it, bro. <laughs> but it's here. Bro, the whole night, the bro. Whole we didn't deserve it. She's like, where's the joint? Hey, I can't you. find it. I'm just the worst was the curtains were luminous, <laughs> like green. 
And so as I came out the bathroom, I looked at them, I said, uh, I looked at them, I said, you don't want to come out, child. They were moving like this, boss. And it only got worse. Yeah, <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, it was heavy, bro. It was going off. The one thing I didn't like was the TV, so I told him to switch it off. Yeah, that too thing was, static, hey, that much, thing was coming at us, bro. Yeah. Those like things were coming, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Those things are coming out the TV, bro. Ah. But now we said we were not gonna speak about yeah, it. Yeah, that's not. We that's just not. told you the whole thing. You know, story. it takes oh. it takes a lot of teachings. Let's be honest. You look. We're not. It's good for we, we we just telling people. No, no, don't no, think no. you're big and no, go and try a lot. You'll have the worst time of your life. I think with everything, do your research. Do or you your might research. even <laughs> die. Yeah, you so could potentially die. die. You you will see your ass. Yeah, so I feel like just you know, when, you I was know, just that annoyed. Out, I was just like, no, man, that's not something that you should be doing. Like, do it once just to see. I was just scared she was gonna go in the dark because I was scared of the dark, bro. I was like, I ain't gonna fetch you. <laughs> to each their own, to each their own, honestly. But yeah, we're like teaching to, people, uh, man. Yeah, man. But if you are gonna do it, um, do it the right way. And come buy them from me because they're organic. <laughs> <laughs> and I got them in jelly, true in in in, in, in gummy, so you ain't gonna taste that shit. <laughs> yeah, maybe, yeah, the gummies. You give them all the tells. They know now. They're like, mm, mm, the sweets, guys. I told you they put it in the sweets. Yeah, I told you. Those sweets rock, bro. One on going to work one morning, sure. So I said I want a sweet. She gave me one of those shroom gummies. Just a <laughs> yeah. My man. Hey, I couldn't stop speaking about the office. That one's just looking at me like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> but then I realized, oh, oh. that's what's up. <laughs> I had to set the shit the fuck down, put my earphones in. And <laughs> <laughs> They're like, suddenly, suddenly, they were like, oh, okay, that worked. Yeah, the Owens was dizzy, bro. Because as I got the door sleeping, I woke them up and I was. <laughs> I remember actually back in the day, yo, uh, Mr. Re, Remy, Reese. You used to freestyle. You still freestyle. You still, yeah, you still, bro. You still fire. You shoot them recklessly. We do it, bro. Yeah. <coughs> you know, got me you sitting know, up right now. Get oh, okay. woken up. You know when you wake up. So the balcony is there where where our room is, and then there's the balcony. He obviously leaves me to sleep. He goes and sits on the balcony. Smokes the morning, 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 morning blood. You don't need even side effects. Or traffic or something. I just yeah. I can't, and I've been loving it for almost like three years. It's just like. Yeah. This sounds like tungsten. It's just like, yo, somebody's eye just starting. And you know, I'll be honest with you, I'm so free with freestyling. I can go in a crowd of a million and still mess up and just continue because with, with freestyling, it's not about how long you can do it and how good you're at it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people are out your front and spitting three minutes. My man, that shit is written. Come at me. Come at me. Let me put up a spoon in my hands and let's spit at that shit. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Just That's practice. You just slowly, you just do your thing. If you mess up, don't even laugh about it just continue with it laugh about it it's just learning you can never lose experience ones know how the game is played they like you know what my first performance in the hood with gmix yeah i'm sure you know gmix and them you know gmix i'm sure ah they let they, my usb was faulty he said to me you got one opportunity to freestyle you're good ah my man i messed up bro Luckily, the music, the beat was so loud, no one heard me. <laughs> but I went down and embarrassed my brother. I was like, oh, wait, he did so good. I was like, bro, what the fuck, bro? I found... He's like, oh, well, we didn't hear you. It just looked, no. I was like, oh, bro, at least. And it was actually Marcia. <laughs> you, know, you know, I feel there's a catch to freestyles. Let me not, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm exposing a lot of people. But the truth is, freestyle is practice. It's hard, personally, because I have freestyle in my time. Like, and I feel like you remember starting cues. Yeah. Or like already pictures that you've created that are words you go to. You go, you start to that. You know, you start with that, but then you do, but you can't tell the freestyles from written to actual freestyles. Because it's like, yeah, okay, there's a little slump there or like, oh, okay, this was a change of flow, but he ran, he rode the beat, you know, because I feel like either way, you can have a bad day or a good day. Yeah. Except for battle rap. Battle rap is personal. Yeah, I, I, ain't, I ain't done that before, though. Yeah, that's dangerous. One guy came at me, and all I did was light my blood and say, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I won because he was quiet. So, yeah, man, fuck. So, who, who designs your drip? I see this shirt there. I see the style. This year, shout out to Art Talk. 
You know what time it is, brother? Send me some more skippers. Yeah, we also have uh, a yeah. Chinatown. This is all the way from California. California. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Obviously, just because we were also featured in the Scafe magazine, that's South Africa's top. A lot cannabis. of uh, cannabis brands reach out to and us. And damn, the, right. that, that's links, really in the links in the bottom. Links in the bottom. And also, Sweet. don't forget to subscribe, yo. Bing, bing, bing. That's where our target is: is the, the cannabis. For sure. For, For sure. sure. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a nice audience there as well. Yeah, no. Instead of going to the club, we're rocking festivals, boy. Yeah, dog. There's yeah, so the much. Festival, we end up in smoke. It was in the middle of the bundus, my man. Bro. Dang, people, bro. The air is fresh. It was lit. The air is fresh. So you ready to jump on something for us, Rem? Yeah, no cap. Let me just hear this thing quickly. So this is, is something I've written. After this, we'll hit a freestyle now. I be running, I keep a hundred, I'm it, yo Remember days I was sipping on syrup, moving slow I got a different taste of life since 50, making movies Gotta keep these ten toes down I can let this get to, to my head now I'm blowing on the cinder, I just touched on in another town Looking out the window, I see kids running, they going wild Tears you falling, mama's proud I told them all this shit gon' come Man, I grew up in the deep end, so my mama lose the house And I'm just trying to figure out how do I got on my granny couch But I be rapping and I'm trapping, oh, I got this figured out Don't like this over me, see me, I be smoking loud but he be golden and I know that that boy be chosen So all the problems he was facing I know he controlled him Tiger always got my back if it's you who put it on Bust on Rolex I ain't touch it when I do it Gonna be blue your thick smoke in the air I be staring at the moon gelato Roll it up while I think about my daily problems You're medicated off that lace I was a daily motivation Every day I swear I'm on it Tony Robbins gotta shoot my shot I can't lose learning I just want the true hurt it Cause I didn't love to some bruise And that's what we got That shit's gonna come boy That's some written shit And now if you want to put on a beat, man, you can jump on something, bro. Hell, this is your, this is your show, this is your hot seat. Man, yeah, they talk about that gang, bro. Man, I was in the cussy, I was with them gangs, bro. When I was sipping on that purple fan, I was litty. I was running, swerving, up in trunks, as everybody know. It's 290 Southside, I do it for our own. Your rest in peace to Chris, I can think about that, bro. All the pain he was going through, wish I caught them, hit him with a chrome. What you know about this? Man, I be running ruthless. I saw my mama die in front of me, you know I ain't clueless. But we gon' keep it rapping. They talk about all that dirty shit, all my brothers packing And yeah, we got these hats for gang shit What you know about some city homies, they ain't coming home We send them money so they can get at her <laughs> Hey, yeah, you know talk about the I, SRD, son I'm, I'm out dry as fuck It's hot, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot You can't, you can't Yeah, she be needy, she tired of these long days I need a minute with you, I need four Play show me that love, we gon' fuck on the floor Babe, eyes on the load, you can see that I'm on Babe, I need some came and I've really been scrapping For sipping Patron, while I'm pissing I had is though I keep on fighting with demons So when I perform, I'ma put on a show yeah, she be litty, she tired of these long days I need a mini with you, I need four Play show me that love, we gon' fuck on the floor Babe, eyes on the load, you can see that I'm home, babe I need some sounds like two and Ronnie Remy gang, the dope cast, let's go I keep on fighting with demons So when I perform, I'ma put on a show I be pacing, I be racing, I'm doing my shit smart I ain't got no cases in my dreams I see all they faces, your other loved ones I didn't ask and replace them I don't know what I'ma do with my problems I pray every day I be sharing this faith Man, I came to shoot, I'm intoxicated Down with this operation, I came with a voice You're where the money at, you please And I'd lie to me, oh my uncle's back We hitting pen robberies If you want to throw this back, you can work for me Topping these cats with my verses can copy me I'ma line them up, I shoot them like Bobby We gon' fly them out, we move like a family Blowing on gas while I fuck up these stages My cuss hit the top and we all going places, yeah With his big bodies and his hollow Tips, man, know we ain't fake. Yeah, she be litty, she tired of these long days. I need a minute with you, I need four. Play show me that love, we gon' fuck on the floor. Babe, eyes on the load, you can see that I'm on. Babe, I need some camera, and I've really been scrubbing for sipping Patron. I'm pissing, I had is though I keep on fighting with demons. So when I perform, I'ma put on that show. Yeah, she be litty, she tired of these long days. I need a minute with you, I need four. Play show me that love, we gon' fuck on the floor. Babe, eyes on the load, you can see that I'm on. Babe, I need some camera, and I've really been scrubbing for sipping Patron. I'm pissing, I had is though I keep on fighting with demons. So when I perform, I'ma put on that show. My mother died and this shit really got on me I ain't gon' fake it, this 
shit took a part of me I be hitting, but this shit be so hard on me I got no feelings, but you stole my soul I'll be steady rolling up this dope, trying to cope And I'm always preaching, man, I know I'm the hope But I'm moving this dope, so I'll be a bad pope But I ain't gonna stop picking keys up before If you talk it too much, I'll make it against the flow You're double clutching, I'ma get it quick, though Talk about religion, but I know the way's flopping But man, to the top, I smoke it when I walk And I saw some mangoes in my fucking coop And I know my gang gonna shoot out the roof And I'm on some perkins, they told them I'm looping Take a look what I be doing for these fools And I said they bitches be acting like groupies Remy Gang 290 Southside, 10 blunts in, I can't breathe, we gon' smoke and we gon' eat. That's what's yeah, up, yeah. the dope cats. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>